Hey everybody, this would be the second Pioneer deck that I currently have going. It is Blue Red Drake. Because we've been running through the six. Decks on deck. We're back with Pioneer episode two. So essentially, uh, this is how it works. It's pretty simple. You cast a bunch of spells, you play some big drakes, you kill them. Spells essentially keep you safe up until the point that you can play Drake. Here's how the deck breaks down. Uh, we got four opt. Makes sense. One syncopate, because you can catch them. That's what it's here for, you just catch them, right? Pretty much breaks down to one drops. Two drops, pretty simple. We have uh, two lightning strikes and two Mizzium Mortars. When the game goes late, Mizzium Mortars is extremely advantageous. It lets you essentially one side wipe the board. Super great. These are just great for pinging off dudes in the meantime and in between time. Also, you get to hit the pace as close to the end of the game. You know, great card. Works. Works, works. Um, two drop counter wise, we got some cool stuff. Like some Izzet Charms, which also just helps you throw stuff in the graveyard if you have it too many instants in hand and you're digging for lands or something. Helps power up your stuff later on, totally worth it. All the modes are totally playable. It's also a removal. On top of that, it's a counter spell. So you can get them. Speaking of getting them, get, get them. Two drops. Simple. Three drops. Three Anger the Gods. Because we don't want creatures that are theirs. Because fuck that shit. Anger the Gets the job done. And also uh, Wizard's Retort. So we can just get them. Get them. Light Synergy with one of our creatures, which is going to be Storm Chaser Mage. We'll get to that when we hit the dudes. Um, the rest of the spells. <sighs> this thing is weird. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. Either way, you're cycling a card. It doesn't count as casting a spell, so it doesn't trigger prowess or work with Young Pyromancer, but apart from that, it's alright. <sighs> yeah. Hieroglyphics, what are we going to do? Oh well, it is what it is. Um, other four drops. Aether Eyes. It's a blue wipe. All attacking creatures to their owner's hand. You just time it right on board. You set yourself up for what looks like a really tempting attack. You get them. That's what this deck's about. Keep the creatures down, getting them, outplaying your opponent. Uh, two treasure cruises to wrap up the value, because ha ha ha, it's not banned. Um, dude wise, pretty simple. So we have uh, three storm chasers and four young pyromancers to start it off. Um, just useful overall. We're casting a bunch of spells. These are great to gum up the board and uh, start to lack on some damage. They uh, they do their job pretty efficiently. And then we get into the fun guys. The fun. Whew, we have three enigma drakes. You need at least one foil because they're beautiful. Sup, Taco? Taco's joining the video, everyone. Anywho, so Enigma Drake, super useful. Um, kind of nombos with Treasure Cruise, so be smart about your timing on that, but it's really not too bad because Crackling Drake doesn't nombo. It even works with Exile. This card is awesome. It replaces itself. It can't just want ETBs. It's massive. It has four toughness. It sucks that Push can kill it somehow, but gets the job done. Um, and the rest of our top is really fun. We have an extra Bedlam Reveler. Um, and we have uh, two Crushing Serpents. Because <laughs> that's legal. These things can come out so early, it's actually kind of ridiculous. I kind of just want more in the deck. Um, I'm, I was thinking about it. But yeah, so they're really, really fun. Um, surprisingly, really, really easy to cast compared to Bedlam Reveler. Even that one card makes a big difference. Uh, lands are pretty basic. We have three Steam Vents. Um, we have two Wandering Fumerals. We got four mountains, four Icelands, four Shivan Reefs, two Spire Bluffs, and two Castles. Pretty simple. It works. Um, it's a wonderful deck. Sideboard's pretty simple. No editing this time. Got it. So three Dispels, because uh, we're trying to do really cool stuff, and we need to protect our creatures, and most best removal, as far as I can tell right now, um, is Instant Speed. So just counter it. Um, speaking of just countering it, we have two more negates, so we can go up to three negates total, so we can really max out our counters and actually just be kind of like a counters big dudes deck and out-tempo people, and it feels pretty good. Uh, we have a domestication, we have another Aether Rise, in case we go up against another aggro matchup, so we can go up to three Aether Rises in the main, along with the three Angers, and we can just really try to cut down on whatever type of aggressive threats they're trying to pose up. Um, Pyromancer's Goggles, because if you can use this with Treasure Crews, that'd be kind of... You know what I mean? Um, so that's why it's in here. Uh, I didn't know Smash to Smithereens was legal in this format, but it is, so why not? You know, uh, good value on that. Uh, Perforos uh, is just kind of in here because it works with Young Pyromancer and we're casting a lot of spells. We have an It Is It Static Caster to go along with it, a Scab Clan Berserker, because this card just is 
situationally pretty all right. Um, and one glaring spotlight uh, just to use as temporary save our dudes, or just could be useful in some type of matchup with some Hexproof. Who knows? But yeah, that's the deck in a nutshell. Um, uh, Blue Red Drake, we've been running through the six. Uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Me and Taco wish you the best.